Hey guys! A few days ago I posted an edit tutorial. It was directed towards medium to advanced editors, so I didn't really go into detail about the keyframes. But I noticed some confusion about it so in today's video I will be explaining in detail about how keyframes work and how to use them. There are a lot of things you can do with keyframes. First I'll be showing you how to zoom. First select your video or picture and click on this diamond icon near the undo button. We have created a starting point. Now add another keyframe. While your playhead is on the second keyframe, zoom in your screen. The close the keyframes are, the faster and more impact the zoom creates. If we didn't include the starting point keyframe, the whole video will just be zoomed in following the second keyframe style, which is not what we want. The keyframes are more spaced out, which creates a slow zoom. Similarly, you can move the screen sideways, rotate it, zoom out and even move it completely out of view. Not only can you adjust the screen with keyframes, you can even gradually change clip settings. While your play bar is on the second keyframe, lower the opacity. It doesn't do much since it just fades the screen to black. Here's a better way to use this. First freeze the clip on a beat you want to emphasize. Convert this to an overlay. Now add a starting keyframe and then a second keyframe. Remember, the closer the more impact. Zoom in the screen and reduce the opacity. Look how cool that looks. You can experiment with the closeness of the keyframes to make different levels of impact. You can even use keyframes to add filters to your clip. First select your clip, add a keyframe and click on filters. Choose the one you want, then turn it down all the way on the starting keyframe. Follow the same steps for the second keyframe, but this time increase the filter level. You can even do this with text. Here is my result. I'll be showing you how to roughly move the screen to the side like this. Add a starting keyframe as usual. On the next keyframe move the screen to the side a bit. For the next keyframe, don't move anything. Alternate the keyframes between moving and staying still until you've reached your desired position. This will help create the pausing effect. If we moved the screen on every keyframe and didn't alternate between moving and staying still, the screen will move smoothly, which is not what we want. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful to you and if it was, remember to subscribe and like this video. Bye guys!